The odds were completely free for the Mother 9 that day. The scores were 4 to 2, but one inning more to play. And so, when Cooley died at first, and Barrows did the same, a sickly silence fell upon the pitch. The straggling few got out their goal in deep despair. The rest plunged to that hope and screamed the turning as she was they thought, if only Casey could get a whack. That, they put up even money now, Casey had that. But Flynn preceded Casey, as did also Jimmy Blake. The former was a little and the latter was a cake. So upon that sickened multitude, grim melancholy sat. But it seemed but little chance of Casey's getting to the bat. But Flynn, let's drive a single to the wonderment of all, and Blake, the much despised, to turn the cover off the ball. And when the dust had lifted, and the men saw what had occurred, there was Jimmy safe with second, and Flynn a hug and third. Then, for five thousand words and more, there rose a lusty yell. It rumbled through the valley, and it rattled in the dell. It knocked upon the mountain and recoiled in the flat. But Casey, mighty Casey, was advancing to the back. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing and a smile on Casey's face. And then, responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat. Not a stranger in the crowd could doubt it was Casey. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded and he wiped them on his shirt. <laughs> and while the writhing pitcher ran the ball to a chip, the fire gleamed in Casey's eyes as a sneer curled Casey's lip. And now, the leather covered spear comes hurtling through the air. And Casey stood watching it in haughty grandeur. Close by the sturdy bath and the ball, unheeded, sped. In my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. From the benches, black with purple, there went up a muffled roar, like the beating of the storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! Show a second in the sand. <laughs> and that's likely he'd have killed it. And now Casey raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity. Great Casey's visit shone. He stilled the rising bumble, and now the game rolled on. He signaled to the pitcher. Once more, the spear is split. But Casey still ignored it, and the umpire said, Stretch you! Strong! One storm pulled up from Casey, and the audience was all. They saw his face go sternly cold. They saw his muscles strain. They knew that Casey wouldn't let that ball go by again. The sneer is gone from Casey's lips. His teeth are clenched for hate. He pounds with cruel violence his back upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball. And now they let it go. And now that air is shattered by the bullet of Casey's blow. Oh, somewhere in this favored land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere. Somewhere, arms are right. Somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout. But there is no joy or mud. Mighty Casey has struck out.